Hey friends, it's Megan, Georgia Girl Stitching here on YouTube and on Instagram. It is Thursday, November 7th, and I'm back for my 50th floss tube video. Uh, thank you so much for checking me out, whether you're here for the first time or this is your 50th time. I really appreciate you coming by and spending some time with me, and I hope you stick around. Um, <clears throat> so I'm back for my next update video. It's been about a month since I've been here. And I have a few uh, projects to show. I did get a hit with like a case of the starditis. And I know there's like, I've been hearing like no starts November and I just went to new starts November, it feels like, cause I just jumped right into some new starts. <laughs> so good of it to show you. Um, and then I've got winner of my giveaway for my last video and then gonna do a giveaway for this video. So I'll go ahead and get started. I do have a finish, which is super exciting. Um, I was hoping to have this finish for my last video, but here we are for this video. This is my um, my design. It's called Nautical Flags Alphabet. It's like a sampler type style. And here it is fully finished or fully cross-stitched finished. <laughs> um, it is on 40 count anthracite all DMC and I'm working on getting this photographed so that the pattern can officially go on my Etsy page um, but I super loved working on this really enjoyed it I had done a version of this a couple of years ago right after I finished designing it um, where I spelled out our last name and the year that we were got married um, and so I'd already done that and then this time I did the whole sampler so Bring it up closer. It was just so much fun to do. And I'm really excited to get this frame. This will fit in about an eight by 10 frame. So I'm gonna get this probably framed, either framed or like mounted onto something. I haven't fully figured out how I'm gonna fully finish it, but I at least have it stitched, <laughs> which is <a> big step. <laughs> so that is my first project. And then the only official whip that I have worked on is my uh, Tree of Life, which is an anniversary piece for my parents. Next year is their 30th wedding anniversary. So I um, mod heavily modified a piece for them to celebrate their anniversary. Um, I'll go ahead and show, this is the original piece, the original pattern. And then this is my mock-up of all of my changes. <laughs> And if you want um, a full delve into deep of all of the different changes, I go to it pretty extensively in my last two videos. I'm doing this on 40 count um, snowy pine from Color and Cotton. And here's where we're at. I'm super happy with the progress over the last month. So I, um, I got the second circle all the way around. So it actually looks like a circle this time for the most part, at least. Um, and then I finished the trunk of the tree. So all of the brown is in, the brown is done. And I have got all the outlines for the Celtic love knot in and filled in one of them. So I've got two more to fill in. But this is now at like 48% done or something. So we're making really good progress on it. I'm super happy with it. And um, my goal with this one now, which is kind of plans, but if I can do 100 stitches a day average, average 100 stitches a day, this will be done. I don't think it'll be done by the end of the year, but it'll be done early into next year, which will give me plenty of time to get it framed and gift it to them by the time of their anniversary, which is my ultimate goal. My mom has been like, no pressure. And I'm like, I mean, I'm not, I, I won't pressure, but I would like to get it done by then. <laughs> like, I appreciate the, the flexibility, but I definitely want to try and get this to them by their anniversary. So, so yeah, so that's where we're at. And I love this fabric, this color and cotton. I just, I'm obsessed with their fabric. So there we are. So now um, I'm going to finish the filling in those two love knots and then start working on the green of the tree. 
think is where I'm gonna go next. I probably should get started on the white so I'm not stuck with all of that at the end. <laughs> but it, the Q-snap, it just fits so perfectly in the Q-snap right now that I don't wanna move it. <laughs> um, which I would have to because it comes out a little bit from the edge. It's not, it's not flush with the circle. It comes a little bit below and a little bit out. So I'll have to move the Q-snap around to get it all to fit, but, but yeah, super happy with it. And now I have my three impulse starts <laughs> of the last few weeks. So the first one, I, I got super into the Christmas spirit. Like Halloween came, I, it was the first real time, like as an adult that I've experienced Halloween in a neighborhood that actually does Halloween. <laughs> the last few places we've lived, well in college, like that was all different. In Cincinnati, my apartment complex didn't really do Halloween. And then um, in Auburn and even in Suffolk, like those places just were not big Halloween places. So now this year is the first time as an adult, I got to really experience it. And so went to a neighbor's house that was kind of having the adult party that we then had like this slide that we were sliding candy down to the kids. It was a ton of fun. So I got to like fully experience that. So the next day when November hit, I was like, you know what, I'm ready for the Christmas spirit. Like I'm not getting, I'm not forgetting fall. I'm still enjoying fall, but I'm ready to, to kind of get into that holly jolly spirit. <laughs> so, and this is a piece that I wanted to start pretty much since I saw it. And in October, uh, color and cotton's fabric of the month, when I received it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the perfect piece of fabric for this piece. So with the fabric coming, plus being in the, you know, Christmas spirit, I decided to go ahead and start it. And so this is a type of Christmas by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And I am stitching it on 40 count Glacier from Color and Cotton, which was the October 2024 fabric of the month. And this is where I got to. It has been so much fun to stitch. It, it pained me to put it down. <laughs> I originally, when I started, was like, I'm just gonna get the border started. I'm just gonna get the border started. And then it's a start and then I can pick it up whenever. Nope, I didn't stop until I finished the first snow motif. <laughs> <coughs> What I love about this piece is that with all of the different typographies, it's it's kind of like little mini finishes. So I finished this snow and which, oh, look at the little penguin. He's just so cute. So I finished snow and I was like, okay, like I feel like I've actually accomplished something on this piece. So I love it. I've already made a mistake. <laughs> I'm not fixing it. I'll fix it in a different place. But this border, if you're stitching this word to the wise, on the long ends of the piece, so typically, so like across the top and for most of the part, it's like four, four, four red, four white, four red, four white. Randomly throughout this border, there's five reds. And I guess it's just so that it would reach the bottom. I think, I guess is why she did that. I didn't notice that. I just got in a rhythm. And then I went to go actually like click it off of Pattern Keeper and I was like, oh no. <laughs> so I'm just gonna, I'm not at the bottom yet. So I'm just gonna at some point do like five, couple of fives to to catch back up but just in case anyone is going to be starting this anytime soon beware across the top and the bottom that is I looked it's all four four fours so you can get no rhythm across the top but oh I just love it so much and those blues are gorgeous on this blue it all just pops so well even the white shows up really well which I was really happy about so so yeah, so I'm super happy about that one. I'm just gonna keep picking this one up randomly whenever I feel like it. It's just so, it's a good travel piece too, especially with the border and just keep going, you know, being aware of the, the fives. <laughs> um, and then one of my other new starts is a gift for um, two of our closest friends. They're having a baby that's due uh, next month. Oh gosh, really, it's already next, it's already, she's already next month. Um, she, we don't know her name. They're being very secretive about the name, but we know it's gonna be a girl. And she, um, the mom has finally like put her nursery together and has kind of chosen what her overall theme is. And it's like sun rays, sunshine, you are, uh, you know, um, you are my sunshine kind of uh, like across, uh, um, over the crib, she has like these sun rays. It's just like like the sun's rising, sun rays, like really pretty, kind of this very light pink, um, taupe, yellow, just really nice. Um, and so we're kind of going with that. 
uh, so once I saw that, I remembered that I had this piece from Shannon Christine Design. So I'm gonna make this for her, but uh, it's not really gonna be a sampler because I'm not gonna do her, I don't know her name, to put it on there. And I like, she didn't really seem it. I brought up like the idea of like a cross stitch sampler before, like birth sampler. She didn't seem super into it. Um, but they really, they definitely appreciate my cross stitching. Like I have, I've made her, um, the mom, I've made her like a little ornament and she loves it. Like they have it hanging in their house and like they always, you know, ogle at all of my stuff here. So I know they appreciate it. She just didn't necessarily seem super excited about like that kind of thing. So when I saw this piece, I was like, this is perfect, especially now that I know like it'll fit in the nurse, go well in the nursery. Um, and it's something that I think could also continue on, um, either that the daughter keeps or that I think that the mom would like further, you know, further in, in the future. So all that to say, <laughs> I have chosen this, piece. it's also small and I can finish it quickly, from Shannon Christine Designs, My Sunshine. And this is the original. The bees are also perfect because the dad uh, did um, bee research in college. So he's he loves bees and kind of like the honey making. And then he and my husband bond over their love of mead, which is made. And they we have a meadery here in Williamsburg and they go to the meadery. We all do. And like they so bees are kind of also very like, rel you know, relevant to their family. So. This is the original and then um, I am changing the blue banners. I'm making pink and converted it to pink. And then um, the sun, the sunflower um, colors, I changed two of them to be, so now it's just like four, four of those yellows in a row, like that are all in the same family. The other ones were kind of all over the place. I, two of them looked exactly the same. So. I changed that and I'm doing this on 32 count um, under the sea fabrics, shimmering seas. And this is as far as I've gotten, which is already like 9% done. <laughs> so, uh, so it's actually, it's going really quickly uh, already. And I've had to get used to 32 count stitching again. I have done exclusively 40 count, 46 count stitching for months now that going back to 32 count, it took a little, it took a minute to get used to it again. Um, but I, I really got back into the groove. I love it. I think this fabric, it's looking really good on this. I kind of wanted a sky fabric and I actually don't have a lot of 32 count anymore because I've kind of de-stashed a lot of it because I don't, it's not my preference anymore. But I still had this little, it was basically a scrap of fabric and the colors just burst on it. So I'm really happy about it. And it kind of looks like this, like it's in the sky. Um, and yeah, this is where I'm at. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be working on this one um, a lot, <laughs> trying to get this done in time. I'm, it fits perfectly, it should fit, based on my calculations, it should fit perfectly in a four by four frame. So I have a couple of those saved on Amazon that I could get quickly and then get um, the, she's so kind. There's the framer here that, um, there's a, there's a, if you're in the area, Colonial Framing. She, one of the main women in there also cross stitches. It's three doors down from Liberty Hill Needleworks, which is super convenient. And the woman in there also cross stitches. So she fully understands like how to frame cross stitch. I got a piece framed there, um, which I'll talk about in my next video because I just realized I didn't show it last time and I don't have a picture of it. It's, it was a gift. So I'll show that next time. Um, I'll get a picture from her. But anyway, um, the she told me that, cause I asked, you know, if I have already have a frame and need something like pinned to be framed, do you all offer that service? And she said, I do. So I don't know if that's like necessarily through the frame shop or if she just like offers that on her own, but if I can get the four by four frame, she'll pin it for me and frame it for me. So super exciting. Um, so yeah, so I, and she has like a two to three week turnaround time. So I need to get this. I don't know like what my goal actually is for getting into it. Cause I, her baby shower is not going to be in the area. It's going to be pretty far. And so I'm not able to go and the baby's due in the middle of December. So this might be like a Christmas gift. So I have some time. I'm not like going to kill myself over it, but 
I'm just super happy about it. It's just so cute and it brings, it brings me joy. So I hope it brings them joy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was one of my new starts. Hopefully this will be a finish in my next video. And then my last start is kind of my new year new start early because I don't have any patience. So I, I've been wanting to do a seasonal series for a while now. I, so many people do seasonal series or monthly series. And I love that idea of like every season we flip over or every month you flip over to the next thing. But there hasn't been a series that's like called out to me in such a, in a way that were all of them called out to me. I would like some of the months, but not all of them. Or I'd like some of the seasons, but not all of them. Or they were massive. And I'm like, those are never going to get all done. You know, like I love um, the montages that people are doing right now. Those are amazing. They're gorgeous. I'll never finish them. Like it'll be... 20 years before <laughs> those are done like just being realistic right so I wanted something a little bit faster I was kind of just perusing my pdfs I sometimes just like click if I'm getting a, like the itch to start something I'll just kind of like go through my pdfs on my computer and just like see what I have re remember some things that I've forgotten about um and I have some lists made too but I was perusing in my Shannon Christine folder and I forgot that I had bought all of these literally three years ago. <laughs> um, one of my friends in med school had commissioned me to make a butterfly, to stitch one of the butterflies of, of, from Vlada X Stitch and um, as a gift for her mother-in-law. So I had done that, but at the time of me buying that butterfly, Vlada was having a major sale on all of her butterflies. And I was like, well, you know, I really like these. I could see myself stitching these in the future. So it was like a buy four, get, or buy a certain amount, get a certain amount off. And it, it was like specifically the butterflies. I'm pretty sure, because that's all I bought. So I went through and I bought a bunch of different random butterflies. And I was looking at them and I was like, you know, these kind of all look like different seasons. <laughs> like there's, there, I could see each one of these being a season and I don't I did not have that idea when I bought these but I just liked the variety of them and I think I was able to kind of associate each one with a season so I was like okay this is gonna be my my new year goals and they're not huge they're not huge at all um each one I think is like around 5,000 stitches so which is to me that's like a very manageable size like I could reasonably get that done in like a month and a half if I focused on it depending on my life at the time, naturally. But like, that's a very like reasonable size. I mean, that's that's if I did 100 stitches a day, it's done in less than two months, you know, kind of thing. So I was kind of going through and I kind of was thinking about it and I showed David, he liked them. So I went with it and I got, a, I got all the floss for them. I have not picked out my fabric for all of them. I kind of want to see what comes in like some fabric of the month. So I'm going to pick out the fabrics as I start the next one. I'm not gonna pre pre assign, um, but I decided, well, for my new year to start, I'll just start with the spring one. That makes sense. It'd be a kind of a season ahead, in a way. Well, then I found the I looked through all my fabrics. I already had the right fabric for it. I had all the floss for it. I was like, you know, let me just go ahead and start it. What's the difference between November first and January first, really? You know. So I um, clearly I had this day off in case you can't tell, because I started that other one then too. So I got, um, I got it started. And then I've worked on it a couple days since. So let me show you all the butterflies and then I'll show you this one. So here's kind of the montage. This is, and these are all, these aren't named these seasons in on Vlad X Etsy. I renamed them. I'll have my links, I'll have the links for all of them down below. So if you're interested in any of them, they're all down, they'll be all down below. This is what I'm calling spring butterfly. So this is the one I technically started. And here's, so here's spring butterfly, summer butterfly, fall butterfly or autumn butterfly, winter butterfly, and then I snuck in a Christmas butterfly. So those are all the ones I have, kind of each one. So here's all of them together. You can kind of see what they all look like together. 
super excited. I'm so excited to do these. And so without further ado, I did start spring and this is on 40 count color and cotton spearmint medium. It was a fabric of the month. I started in the center with the center of the butterfly and I got one of those white flowers done. There's actually two colors in here in the body. So if it looks like there's two colors, it's because there is. And then I got one of the white, white flowers done. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And I think it's going to mostly fit in this Q snap because there's not a lot of border on each side. So I'll be able to fit most of it in here. I think I'm trying to remember what the size was. I think they would fit in a five by seven frame if I decided to frame them. I probably would mount these um, on something so that I can switch them out really easily. But if I decide to frame and switch out the frame, I think these would fit in a five by seven. Eight by 10, eight by 10. I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm far away from that, I'll figure it out. Um, but yeah, so here's where I started. I, I'm gonna probably just randomly pick this up and work on it because the next big flower is one of those blue flowers, which is like all, of, all me. Um, and I already have all the floss for each one too. So when it's time to, and they kind of share, some of them share flosses. So I'm super excited. I have a color idea for each one, like what color I'm kind of aiming for. So if I do suddenly get one in like a fabric of the month or something, I can kind of put it as a tentative option. Um, like I think the, like the summer one's gonna be on a blue fabric. The fall one's gonna be either on a neutral or um, like a brown fabric. Christmas, maybe a green or a raw. And then winter on maybe like a light purple. Like those are kind of my overall, like I want them all to be on different colored fabrics, preferably. So, so yeah, so I'm super excited. Do another close up of that. We'll see where we get. And that's it. And those are all of my, my stitches for, um, for the last month, which, you know, all things considered, it was quite a bit. <laughs> Some of them were all in one day because I, on my days off, I really try to like stitch. <laughs> or if I have time, I need to start, so I have to take another board exam in January. So I do have to start transitioning my free time to studying more, which I don't want to do, but it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> so I do need to, I need to, yet again, I gotta work on another board exam, but um, but yeah, so that's all of the stitching um, plans. Um, finish my sunshine. Uh, get this one done sooner rather than later. Keep working 100 stitches a day average on my parents' anniversary piece. And then I do still have the goal of finishing Celebrate Christmas by Madame Chantilly by the end of the year. I didn't bring it this time. I showed it my last one. Um, We'll see. I'm not, it's not calling to me right now, which is a problem because I want to finish it. <laughs> so I really, it needs to call to me more. I don't know how to make it call to me. I think type of Christmas, it was a problem. I, I shouldn't have started type of Christmas. I should have waited to start that until I finished celebrate Christmas. That would have been the responsible thing to do because I'm also way over my comfort level, of, like whip numbers, whatever. Um, so I'm going to have to reorient that. <laughs> um, I, I think I have 4,300 stitches left on Celebrate Christmas. I just, that should be another one where it's just like 100 stitches a day. I don't know. Maybe December. Nope, that won't be enough. We'll figure it out. I have more time in December though. My rotations in November are, are tougher uh, time-wise, uh, but for December, they're much better. So... Maybe like 150 stitches a day in December, we'll get it done. We'll see. Um, yeah, so that's definitely still on the back of my mind to get it. I should take the Q-snap off of a type of Christmas and on to celebrate Christmas, and then maybe that'll spark. Um, but it'll get done eventually. So, so two of these, two of my whips will hopefully be done by the end of the year. Maybe three if I really kick butt on Tree of Life and I'll be back to 30 by the end of the year. Maybe. 
Um, so yeah, but overall, those are my, my big plans going forward. Um, and then giveaway real quickly. I, um, uh, my giveaway for my last video was Ernest Emma from those missing stitches. She should check out her Etsy store and her floss tube. She's fantastic. Um, the winner of this is Lori Richardson 9079 is your YouTube name. So if you are Lori Richardson, please email me at georgiagirlstitching at gmail.com. I'll get this out to you. I apologize to all of my previous giveaway winners. I have your names. I have your addresses. I have your giveaways. They will go out eventually. I promise. <laughs> Thank you for emailing me. Some of you again, I apologize that some of you went to the spam folder or just didn't, it just didn't get through. Um, Thank you for emailing me. I have you down. I promise you'll get it. I just don't have a timeline. So maybe when this one goes out, cause this is my last physical giveaway for the rest of the year. So when Lori emails me, email me your info. And then when I have that, I will do one big post office send off um, before we get too close to Christmas is my goal. So for my 50th video, um, I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, so this, but since we are getting closer to Christmas, I didn't want to do a physical giveaway because I just saw that asking for problems. So what I decided for this video is I'm going to give away five of my PDF charts from my Etsy store. So if you are interested in any of my designs um, and are okay with a PDF, because then it's also international, get it a lot faster as well, um, then just put your, you know, just let, ooh, what word should we use? Um, use the word Georgia, since I'm Georgia Girl Stitching. Um, and in case you're new here and wondering why I'm Georgia Girl Stitching when I live in Williamsburg, Virginia, it's because of this right here. I went to University of Georgia. Um, so, and I was, I was born and raised and lived in Georgia for 22 years of my life. Um, but I am continuously Georgia girl stitching cause I am forever a UGA girl. So go dogs. Um, uh, so yeah, let's use the word Georgia and, um, and then five of you will get one of my patterns PDF. Um, I'm hoping to get more of my Patterns printed, hopefully by the end of the year, but we'll see. Time just has not been on my side. <laughs> um, but Liberty Hill Stitchery, Li Liberty Hill Needleworks in Williamsburg, Virginia. She is my local needle workshop and she is carrying my patterns. So if there's some that, if there's one that you're interested in, please uh, call her and if you want a physical pattern, she has quite a few of them. She does not have all of them because I haven't printed all of them, so that's on me, but they'll get there. But if there is something you're interested in, give her a call, email her. She's really active on Facebook as well and she'll get them sent out to you. But if you want a PDF, I have an Etsy. Um, but yeah, so along those lines, I life for the last month. I have um, rotations have been going pretty well. Work is insane. The hospital was absolutely full yesterday. No, this past week, like literally we were on divergent. Like we were not accepting any more children because <laughs> we had no bed for them. It was insane. Um, it's calmed down a little bit since then, but like we were all like max capacity of even the patients we were allowed to carry for safety. So yeah, it's been, it's been crazy, um, but I love it. I do love working. Um, everyone I work with is amazing. So. It's been going well. Nights, I'm done with nights, thankfully, for a while. Um, so I can at least be in the land of the living. I've been able to see David a lot. He's been able to either come home or me go there on weekends. So I've been able to see him. Um, my mom, my parents are doing really well. Thank you for all the sweet comments about them with the hurricane. They are doing very well. Their house is pretty much back up. They, cause they were not in like the heart of Asheville. They were, they're a little bit, oh, mom, I always get this wrong. West. They were west of Asheville, um, in Waynesville. So they, uh, they're doing really well. Waynesville is doing really well. So thankfully, um, yeah, I'm just trying to think not a whole lot. I was talking about Halloween was a lot of fun in the neighborhood. I've made some really good friends here in the neighborhood. We had a lot of fun. Um, 
and yeah, just living life. So one day at a time. <laughs> I'm, I'm grateful for the message I've been able to get done. I have about enough time in the evening to literally do 100 stitches before I just pass out. So uh, December, I do newborn nursery for two weeks and then I do emergency medicine for two weeks. And then I have five days off for Christmas, which is awesome. So December will be um, at least nice time-wise because David will also get a good amount of time off. Like it's, the rest of the, rest of the year is gonna be great. Like I really am I'm looking forward to the rest of this year. Um, and then I start January in the NICU, which um, I find a lot of uh, reward, um, what's the word? Um, I enjoy my time in the NICU, even though it's an ICU. <laughs> like I get a, um, that's what I want to do. I want to work in the NICU. So, so yeah, so it'll be a good start to the new year for me. Um, I'm working with the babies again. So yeah, I think that's, oh no, the big thing, the only reason I brought up life partly is, um, I did stop in Liberty Hill Needleworks last year or last week. Oh my goodness. Last week, I was kidding up a new design, which I'm actually not happy with, so I'm not showing you because I need to make some changes. Um, but David came and he helped me. I'm happy with the flosses. I'm not happy with my fabric. And he helped me convert some DMCs to variegated. And while I was there, three floss tubers were there um, visiting. Amy from Amy Loves Toads, Natalie from Home Sweet Home Handmade, and Donna Ray from, what is it? Uh, Flannel Jammies Farm, flannel, flannel Jammies Farm, Donna Ray. And I got to meet them. They overheard that I was getting a new design up. And so Donna Ray came over and introduced herself and asked where some patterns were around. Uh, Cause uh, they had finally, they'd officially like put my, put my patterns around um, the store. So she, I showed her some of them were, and then she and, um, and Natalie bought a few, which was so sweet. So um natalie was visiting from the uk and it was super great to meet all of them um, i'd met amy before but if it's nice to meet donna ray and natalie so really appreciate them you know reaching out and stopping me and wanting to chat um and yeah i just love that place it's such a happy friendly place so david uh was there to make sure i only bought what i needed while i was there uh but i'll be back because i need to find some different fabric for this piece. And then I have another design percolating as well. So hopefully something will be coming your way relatively soon um, as well. But yeah, if you have um, any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Love seeing comments, interacting with you all. I hope you all are doing well. I hope that um, the rest of this year goes well for you. I know holidays can be up or down for everyone, so. I don't know when I'll be back. Potentially the beginning of December is my goal. Um, but yeah, but I don't get weekends off really for the rest of the year. So I get the weekend right after Thanksgiving off. But other than that, I'm pretty much working every weekend. So we'll see. <laughs> um, but I hope you all have a wonderful time stitching and I'll see you on the flip side. Happy stitching everyone. Bye.